you know, the, the Hulk Hogan sex tape really fucked up my life. It really did. And a lot of people don't know the truth to that. If you were to go ask, let's say that you two guys are walking down the International Mall or anywhere for that fucking matter. Does anybody go to the fucking, to Pinellas Park, uh, what's uh, Seminole, uh, no, what's uh, Tyrone? Does anybody go to Tyrone Mall anymore? Not really. <clears throat> I know, but if you're <clears throat> hanging out on the beach or something amongst, you know, men 25 to 54 and you walk up to anybody in Tampa, Florida, or uh, maybe the world for that most part, and you're like, hey, what do you know about the Hogan sex tape? And they're going to say, oh, his best friend, Bubba the Love Sponge, uh, taped uh, uh, Hogan fucking his wife, and then Bubba tried to sell it and do him dirty. There's truth to that. I did let him fuck my wife. And my home surveillance system got captivated it, as it captivates everything. That's the my own. That's my only dabbling in the whole thing. The sequence of events that happened thereafter will absolutely blow people's fucking minds when they find out how this all went down. Now I'm not trying to say, oh, listen, I'm innocent. No, no, I let my best friend fuck my hot wife. I did. My best friend was in a. Which that's, that's not. I mean, if everyone's willing, and there's nothing I mean, wrong with there that. There was three willing participants, right. and really, at the end of the day, had an employee of mine not steal my fucking my surveillance. Uh, only three people to this day would still know about that event, and my life wouldn't have been ruined. Uh, my ex-wife wouldn't be considered a whore, and Hogan wouldn't have 141 million dollars in his pocket. <laughs> So, I mean, joke's on me, motherfucker. I he, mean, my, he really got all that money? No, no, he didn't. He got, I, and I, in my opinion, in my opinion between now, there were, no, don't forget, there were two lawsuits. There was Hogan versus Gawker, and then the lawsuit that nobody knows about, Hogan versus Cox. Oh, okay. This, all of this was aggregated through Cox Media. People don't, that lawsuit settled. That lawsuit settled. That's the story I'm going to tell. Oh. I'm going to tell that story. Everybody knows Hogan versus Gawker and how that worked out. But if you were to go and ask that, people say, well, people don't realize is that my best friend, Hulk Hogan, lived with me at his lowest point of his life in 2007. He was suicidal. Uh, I, I had to take a gun away from him at one time. He was, he was, he was going to kill himself. And we were coming home from the dollhouse one night. My wife and I had a, a, a semi-open relation. I mean, you know, we were, we were, I wouldn't say we were necessarily in the lifestyle, but, you know, I'm not a jealous guy. I've, I've seen th through all of my years on being on radio and, you know, the, the squirt Olympics and the <laughs> girls pissing in fucking coffee cans and shooting ping pongs balls out their pussies and just all the stuff that I've seen, you know, I've become calloused. So my best friend fucking my wife is not that big a deal to me. Mm -hmm. um, and so and you guys were married. You we guys were, were together. Yeah, we were married. Okay. And, and, and so we're driving home from the dollhouse and my wife calls me and Hogan's down. He's going through the worst fucking divorce ever. And I, I just told I said, hey, Heather, have a little sexy outfit on and, and, and take care of my boy when we get home. And it was pretty much that it was pretty much that simple. Um, the 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 chain of custody of the tape is a story in itself. Uh, I, it was it, we, uh, Heather and I were going through a very nasty divorce and I didn't want that, you know, that that DVD at my house at that time. So I took it and put it in my office. And an employee stole it, and the rest is history. The employee disseminated it. The employee used it to try to extort Hogan for a million dollars. There was an FBI. Did you know that there was an FBI sting? I had no <clears throat> fucking clue. No. Nobody knows this. Nobody knows that this tape was shopped all around Hollywood. And everybody in Hollywood asked the, the, the Spice Boy, Matt Lloyd. Spice Boy, my co-host, was shopping this to Digital Underground and to Wicked Productions and all this and says, and, you know, because the sex tape world with the Ray J and Kim Kardashian and Paris Hilton and Tommy Lee, you know, those, those were worth millions of dollars because people, the people in the, in the tapes agreed, you know, for the, right. at the end of the day. Right. Pam and Tommy want to act like they didn't, they made a lot of money on that deal. Oh, yeah. Well. Heather, myself, or Hogan. Well, sex tape hasn't made money. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm, I'm, I'm the, I'm the guy. I'm the person that's been on the worst side of sex tape. I'm the, I am the fucking, the guy who got butt fucked by sex by sex tapes. So, as Spice Boy was shopping this this tape, 
I didn't even know that it was gone. You know, like for instance, see that toolbox over there? Yeah. Okay, you might have three half inch wrenches in there. Do you really know that there's three in there? Last time you checked, there was three. But do you go back every day and check that there's three half inch wrenches? Right. No, <clears throat> I knew my this. I knew this sex tape was in my office in in the desk. I didn't go every day and relook. Oh, it's still there. Mm -hmm. I just knew. I never had an employee theft program uh, problem. I didn't. You know, I had nothing. I, I had a pretty small staff, and nobody went in my office, and I'd never have a theft problem. People had keys to the building. They could come and work on the weekends and things like that. Well, one of my employees stole it. I didn't know it was stolen until one of my uh, producers, Brent Hatley, calls me March 4th, 2011, and flat out asks me, did, did Hogan fuck your wife? And I'm like, I'm driving into work. It's 4.40 in the morning. I'm on the Howard Franklin. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, on the dirty.com, there's a screenshot of your bedroom with Hogan, you know, on top of, on top of Heather. And I'm like, oh my God, Brent, oh. <clears throat> Brent, run into my office right now and look at my top desk, top drawer, under some papers, there should be a DVD that says Hogan on it. And he walked in there and came, he said, it's not there. And my, I knew him, I knew, I knew, I knew my life was ruined. So Spice Boy oh was taking God. this tape and, and when he was going to, <clears throat> uh, digit, when he was going to all these places that could potentially buy a sex tape, the first thing they asked was, well, do you have 2257 forms on the people involved? And a 2257 form is just a standardized form that says, I am this person giving you permission to right. use my likeness and distribute it, and we own the right, you know, all that kind of bullshit, mm -hmm. which you should have me sign at the end of the day. I'm actually, no, I don't have anybody sign those. You should. I should, yeah. Oh, you know what, I'll give you a If anybody ever told me they didn't want to be on here, I would take it down. Sure, but you know, if you uh, have it a twenty two fifty seven further insulates, yeah, you know, I mean, that, that would be a good idea. That would be a I'll, responsible thing to do. I have a, I'll have, I'll, oh I'll, really? Yeah, I have the, I have the the template, okay. so to speak. I can get you. Oh, that would be fucking and, awesome. And you just, and and Thank then you. and you tell them, you know, you can either put in the form or you can tell them, hey, this is just gives me the rights to put this on. But if you'd ever have a problem with it, I'll take it down. Right. Like you know. Like be disarming when you would right. tell them that because if they look at like you know, it looks a little intimidating, you know, mm -hmm. sign in some shit. Right. But um, another radio lesson. Right. <laughs> I could teach you a lot of lessons. <laughs> I know. Man. I'm learning a lot today. And my next lesson is to get a vasectomy. Okay. Now let's 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 keep it at two. Let's keep it at two. You want to keep this empire going, motherfucker? You get another mouth to feed. <laughs> then you got to figure you and your wife are going to end up getting a divorce one of these days. You got fucking. <laughs> Three child support payments instead of two. Fuck. You, you got know, baby, mom, baby always, mama drama. She always says that. She goes, she goes, I'm never letting you divorce me, but I don't care what the fuck happens when we get older. She's like, you're getting a vasectomy after our next kid, after three kids, because I don't want any other bitch to have your kids. <laughs> that's her way of looking at it. That's but her way. She, that's, that's quite, that's, that's a lot of wisdom right there. You might want to listen to old girl on that one. Yeah. But you might want to try to whittle her down. Let's keep it at a two. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm I mean, child support's that. strictly a number. It's 20% of your gross per kid. Think 20 about it. 20% per kid? Per kid, bud. Oh, God. <laughs> You're looking at 60 points. 60% of everything. Yeah, my, yeah. God damn. Yeah, homeboy's thinking about his job right now. I can right see now. why Hogan was suicidal. Yeah. Well, I mean, Linda got, I mean, fuck, I mean, I, the, his divorce settlement was just crazy. So anyway, um, uh, Spice Boy starts shopping this tape. He can't find anybody in Hollywood or anybody in the porn industry that'll touch it. They're like, "Listen, we cannot put, we cannot put this up if you don't have, you know, at least Heather and Hogan on twenty two fifty sevens. It would, it, it, it's illegal." Well, um, at that point, he the tape was worth nothing. So he that this is this will, this Danny, this will blow your fucking mind. And this is what people in the mall and, and don't know is that he then. Got a hold of his wife's best friend, who named Lori Burbage, who look, worked at the Bank of America. She was just making like you know twenty twenty, like a single mom, and gave her a thousand dollars to be uh, the liaison. And he called up a guy named uh, Keith Davidson, who was the number one sex tape broker in Hollywood. I've heard of him. And he came, he flew to Tampa and brokered this. And he had David Houston, who's Hogan's lawyer, who's now dead. And Hogan... Is that the guy who looks like a burn victim? Yeah, looks like Fire Marshal Bill. Oh, my God. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I got so much heat when he I used died? to say that. He died? Yeah, he died in oh, Reno. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. And so uh, him and Hogan, uh, Keith Davidson got a hold of him and Hogan and said, we have this sex tape. I have the sex tape. Well, first of all, the dirty.com print put put the screenshot of it up uh, in March and kind of uh, alerted the world that it was out there. So everybody's scrambling around. Where the fuck is it? Nobody knows they can't produce it. The dirty.com has to pull it down immediately. But 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 Spice Boy fucked up by I think like I think he got like forty five hundred dollars to send them that just that picture. So as he's shopping it, he can't sell it. He then arranges a meeting to for Keith Davidson to represent him and Hogan, David Houston, and Lori Burbage, who represents the owner of the tape. Because if Spice Boy would have walked in there, Hogan would have said, fuck, because they knew... He knew Spice Boy worked for me. Right, right. You know, he, he, Spice Boy wanted to completely stay out of it. Right. So Lori Bur- Burbage goes in representing the owner of the tape. Keith Davidson's in there. They're broker it. But what they don't know is that Hogan and David Houston called the FBI and said, we're being extorted. They want a million dollars for this sex tape that for Hogan to buy back so that it doesn't get out. That's what bad guys do. Is if I got something here and you don't want this, you don't want your wife to see this, well, then buy it off of me, bitch. Right, right. Otherwise, she's going to get it. Now, that was true? Somebody did try tr- to extort him for a million? Tr- true. It's an, it's an, it was an FBI sting that's been fully documented. Video really? T- they have it like recorded him yes. actually saying that? Yes. Wow. I'll have that footage on my documentary. Wow. So they're in there. And Hogan writes a dummy check for $150,000 to buy back this tape. The feds knock the door down, fucking put Lori Burbage and Michael Dave, uh, Keith Davidson in handcuffs. Oh, this gets fucked up, Dan. You're going to fucking freak out over this Holy deal. Shit.